Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see our 5 and 6 problems in exercise 2.4. The fifth problem is if x minus 2 and x minus half are the factors of px square plus 5x plus r, show that p equals to r. Okay. So here the given polynomial p of x I wrote and x minus 2 and x minus half are the factors of p of x. Okay, so we have to find the remainder first, right? So for that I took x minus 2 and I find the 0 of this polynomial by equalizing to 0. So x is equal to 0 and x minus half equals to 0, x is equal to half. Okay, now we want to find out p of 2 first. In the place of x, write 2 plus 5 into 2 plus r. So clearly they have this is a factor. So that means reminder equals to 0. Right. So 4p is 4p plus 5 to z 10 plus r equals to 0. So that implies 4p plus r if this plus came to RHS this will be minus 10. Let it be 1. Okay. Similarly, P of 1 by 2. P into 1 by 2 whole square plus 5 into 1 by 2 plus R equals to 0. Because X minus 1 by 2 is a factor of P of X, the reminder should be equals to 0. 1 by 2 square, 1 by 4, 5 by 2 plus r equals to 0. Here the LCM is 4. So it is p. 2 divides 4 2 times. So 2 into 5 plus here 1. 1 4 is 4. 4 into r equals to 0. So that implies p plus 2 is 10. 4 into r 4 r equals to. Here this 4 is under division. When we transpose 4 to RHS, it comes under multiplication. So, P plus 10 plus 4R is equal to 0. Okay. So, if we transpose the constant 10 to RHS, it will be minus 10. Let it be 2. Now, just observe this 1 and 2. What about the RHS values here? Here minus 10. And here also minus 10. That means both right hand side values are equal. Right. So then LHS are also equal. From 1 and 2. This equals to minus 10 and this equal to minus 10. So that means 4P plus R equals to P plus 4R. Okay. Now. Just bring all P's to one side and R's to one side. 4P minus P equals to 4R minus R. Okay. If we subtract 1P from 4P's then it will be 3P and similarly 3R. So 3, 3 will get cancelled on both sides. So it is finally P equals to R. So this is what, what we have to show that in this problem. Okay, students. Our sixth problem. If x square minus 1 is a factor of a x power 4 plus b x cube plus c x square plus dx plus e, show that a plus c plus e equals to b plus d is equal to 0. Okay. So, here I wrote the given polynomial p of x is equal to ax square plus b x cube plus ax square plus dx plus e. And here they give x square minus 1 is a factor of f of x. Right. So, first of all we have to find the 0 of this polynomial. For that x square minus 1 equals to 0 and x square minus when it comes to RHS, it will be plus 1. Right? 
So x value we have to find out. The square will become square root after coming to this. Square root of 1 is plus or minus 1. Okay. That means the x value plus 1 and the x value may be minus 1. Okay. Because minus 1 into minus 1 is also plus 1 and plus 1 into plus 1 is also plus 1, right? Minus into minus plus. So that's why here, what is the x value? x value may be plus 1 or it may be minus 1. And now we will substitute plus 1 one time and we will substitute minus 1 time. Okay. So, P of 1, write 1 in the place of x. Because it is a factor, the reminder will be 0. Right? So, the reminder will be 0. Because it is a factor of f of x. a plus b plus c plus d plus c equals to 0. Okay? Let it be 1. And similarly P of. So in the problem we have to prove A plus C plus C. Right. So A plus C plus A. What are the remaining B and D? When it comes to RHS. This will be minus B minus D. So let it be 1. Okay. So next P of minus 1. Just substitute minus 1 in the place of x. Here also reminder 0. So minus whole power even number means plus only. Okay. And minus whole power odd number minus only. Here even number plus 1. Plus into minus minus plus c equals to 0. So a plus plus into minus minus b plus c into 1 c minus d plus e equals to 0. Okay. So now I can write a plus c plus c equals to minus b minus d. Right. So, A plus C plus E and here also we have minus B minus D equals to 0. So, now from 1 we have A plus C plus E value minus B minus D. Right? So, minus B minus D in this place I am writing minus B minus D minus B minus D equals to 0. Okay? That means B and B is minus 2B minus 2D equals to 0. So minus 2 if you take common is equal to 0. So B plus D equals to here it is in multiplication when it comes to RHS it will be under division. So 0 by anything will be 0. So we have proved B plus D equals to 0. Okay. B plus D equals to 0. And here from 1 we, we wrote like that. Just mention from 1. Okay. Now take 1. What is this 1 value? A plus C plus C equals to minus B minus D. So A plus C plus C if I take minus common it will be Okay.